And immediately following Mass, that today is Hospitality Sunday. So we invite you all afterwards to coffee and donuts. And while you're over there having your coffee and donuts, Ms. Helen Almeter, here's another, another face I want new families to know. Ms. Helen Almeter is our Director of Religious Education. And so she'll be over in the Parish Hall uh, taking registration for religious education classes. Uh, we're in the process of revamping our, our youth group, but if you're interested in having your youth participate in the high school youth group, perhaps Helen, we can start a separate sign up for that with more information to come. Also, there's a, there's a table for the Knights of Columbus. They led us in the rosary today at 10 a.m. They're gonna have some awesome burritos they're gonna have for donations only next week. And they helped this week to cut the grass and to trim around here. So thank you, Knights. And to learn more about the Knights, they have a table in the parish hall. And finally, you know, we can't have parish events without people stepping up and exercising discipleship. So if you'd like more ways to know how you can serve with the life of the parish, there's also a table of ways that you can participate in helping to set up or clean up for parish events. Also, Tuesday, I'm, I'm, I am informing your conscience at this time and via live stream. Maybe, John, can we record maybe Tuesday via live stream for our live stream participants? But Tuesday is a holy day of obligation in which we celebrate the solemnity of the assumption of our Blessed Mother Mary. So know that we will have Masses at 12.10 and 6 p.m., also during this Eucharistic revival, uh, we're monthly have an adoration, an exposition of the Blessed Sacrament to promote vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. So I want you to know that this Saturday at 10 a.m. here, we will have exposition of our Blessed Sacrament, and you're more than welcome to come together uh, as we pray for more, uh, for more workers in the vineyard and the harvest. Also, next Saturday, August the 19th, is our monthly Convivio Potluck. So again, I want you to know, even though the Spanish community hosts it, all are welcome. So if you're tired of cooking or, you don't, or, you know, or you're waiting for the next fundraiser for those good tamales, know that our, our Spanish-speaking community cordially invites everyone to please participate at 6 o'clock at our monthly Convivio. Uh, bring your family and friends as we uh, share uh, food together. And at this time, you know, as we begin a new academic year, uh, it's time to know what are ways that we can encounter the Lord, especially those of us that are college students. And as parishioners, we always like to know who are shepherding our young people in college that will help them into discipleship so they'll be faithful members, whether it's in our community or the communities to return to. So without further ado, also, that, and also another gentleman likes to wear cowboy boots. I bring to you at this time the one and only John Bradley, your new team director, followed by the other focused missionaries of the Catholic Eagles. Let's give them a Georgia Eagle warm welcome. Thanks, Father. If I would have known, I would have worn them today. Um, but yeah, like you mentioned, my name is John Bradley. Uh, I'm the new focus team director here at Georgia Southern at St. Matthew and very excited and honored to be here. Uh, me and my wife and our daughter just moved here about a week, uh, a little over a week ago. So it's been kind of crazy, but we're really excited to make St. Matthew our home. So I just want to say a quick thank you to all the parishioners for your warm welcome and for just having us here, having all of us um, all of FOCUS here. So FOCUS stands for the Fellowship of Catholic University Students, and we're a team of missionaries of college graduates um, here to serve all of you college students, to, um, to walk with you, to be a resource to you, and to, to just welcome you into this new life of faith. Um, so I also want to introduce Justin, Marissa, Amy, and at Abby, sorry. <laughs> Amy and Abby decided to sit next to each other. Um, so you may recognize Justin and Marissa. They're returning uh, missionaries. And then Amy is new, just like I am. And then Abby's actually still in school, but she is one of us as well. So she'll be double timing as a missionary and a student. So pray for us. Um, so yeah, we are excited to invite you to consider joining a Bible study. So if you're a college student, I want you to take the pamphlet in front of you or the paper in front of the pew, sorry, in the pew in front of you, and fill out your information, so your name, number, and you have major if you're in Greek life or if you're in athletics here, we have specific Bible studies for you too. Um, and these are just a great way for you to stay connected to the Lord throughout your time in college. 
Um, as many of us know, we're, we could speak from firsthand experience. It's very difficult to do just that. And so we need brothers and sisters to walk with us and to keep us accountable. And by reading and studying scripture, you are encountering the risen Lord Jesus. So um, yeah, we're very excited to walk with you. Uh, if you fill that out, we'll be at each one of the exits and back by our table. So just drop it off to one of us or at our box. Um, and we look forward to getting to know each and every one of you. Thank you so much.